A white dress. I don't know what you're talking about. But behind the innocent look was a plucky princess battling the evil empire. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away! It was the role of a lifetime, but one she didn't feel comfortable playing. The floating English accent, which wasn't good. And I had lip gloss that managed to stay on through every battle. And I didn't like the, I didn't like the hairstyle, so... I love the hairstyle. Well, if you have a round face, though, you don't want to put on hair that makes it more round. And it took two hours to do that hair every day. So... You had an incredible body and beautiful breasts. Well, thank you. That you were told to tape down, is that right? I had to tape them down because they... There was no underwear in space. Who knows that, though? George. He knows there's no underwear? fact. Well, it's true. When you see the film of outer space, of, you know, Venus, and they come back with the images, I haven't seen a bra or panties or in any of those shots. That's yeah. true. So Lucas said, Carrie... No underwear in space. I'm ordering you, get them off. Put the gaffer tape on them. When the gaffer tape came off and the bikini went on for this famous scene with Jabba the Hutt, it caused the sexual awakening of an entire generation. Do you still have that bikini? I never had that bikini. Who's got the bikini? George, and he wears it all the time. And he just won't let anybody else have it. That bikini. I'm blind in my left eye. That's because Why of you. you. <laughs> it didn't move. So Boba Fett, if I laid down, could see all the way to Florida. Oh, my goodness me. So that was nice for him. I love Florida. Some rescue. You came in here, didn't you have a plan for getting out? He's the brain. Princess Leia was foxy and feisty. What the hell are you doing? Somebody has to save our skins. She could handle a weapon better than any man in space. Fly, boy. <laughs> and she could quickly finish off a two-eyed monster with her bare hands. What is that? Oh. Jabba, I had a great time killing him. And they offered me to have my stunt whatever do the killing. And I was like, I'm begging you, because I have hated every moment with Jabba. <laughs> Please let me kill him. I have placed information vital to the survival of the rebellion into the memory systems of this R2 unit. My every father... major studio in Hollywood turned down Star Wars because the script left execs bewildered. It wasn't much different for the actors. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. The dialogue is weird, though, for anybody to say. I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion to the memory systems of this R2 unit. I, vital to the survival of the Rebellion? It's not like English speaking. Governor Tarkin, I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Charming to the last. I thought I could come in and say, Governor Tarkin, you know, there was this smell when I got on board and I thought it was you and there you... And he came up to me and said, you know, you're really serious about this. This is really, really, you know, you're upset. So you have to play it very Completely earnest. Smart. Yeah. We used to call ourselves trick talking meat. Just say the words that he'd written. written in a British page. accent. Governor Tarkin, I thought I recognized your foul stench. I arrived on board. That's how I said it. Your friend is quite a mercenary. I wonder if he really cares about anything or anybody. In Star Wars, I both can. Luke Skywalker and Han Solo battled it out for the affections of Princess Leia, and rumors were rife that they were also fighting uh, over her oh. in real life. What do you think of her, Han? Trying not to, kid. Good. Still, she's got a lot of spirit. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think a princess and a guy like me? No. I went on the film saying, I'm going to have an affair, like it was a kiwi or something, <laughs> an exotic fruit, because I'd never had one. And did you have any exotic fruits? Oh, I can't tell you that. You can. You can tell me anything. I you know want. I can't. I had, uh, I think I had something that happened. You know, I had a crush on Harrison for sure. Oh. There you go. Did they compete for your affections? Harrison wouldn't have... I mean... Harrison wouldn't... He wouldn't have a competition with Mark. It's, a, it's an uneven competition. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly Why what you're would saying. Harrison... Why would he? Because he would be cool, because 
on that front, Mark. He'd win. He'd win. He'd win. He'd win. So it would be mean to have a competition. Was he a cool guy just out of character, just to hang out with Harrison Ford? Yeah, he, he could be a lot of fun. He's great when he's had a few drinks. <laughs> it was very... No, but I'll tell you one thing. No. Well, I'll yeah, tell, tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. I know, but I want to get in so much trouble. No, you won't. I, honestly, I don't He mind. did something funny, which was I went out of the room and I came back in. I'm looking for him, and he was in the closet hanging by his tie, <laughs> not wearing a lot of clothes. <laughs> so that was funny. That's brilliant. He that was naked was in, a, in a wardrobe in your room hanging by his tie. To scare me. Was the tie around his neck? Yes, it was. Okay, that's good. Did you all get on? Well, you know, there was some jealousy, I think. Um, you know, I have to be incredibly careful because this will come back and someone will call one of these people and say, Carrie said blah, blah, blah. Would you comment on that? And then I'll hear from people's, you know, Just say lawyers. It. You know, Harrison had this enormous career by, I don't know, was it the second one or the third one? But, and, and I think that was tough for Mark. Because maybe Mark looked at Harrison and thought, hang on a minute, I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm the one who, it's the adventures of Luke Skywalker. Well, how did, this wasn't supposed to happen. It yeah. should be all about me. Is there anything that you got rid of that you wish you'd kept? Oh, tons of stuff now. I, I was given everything and I got rid of it all. There, oh. that's the shampoo. That's a shampoo bottle? It is, you can twist my head off. And really? Formally, you could pour liquid out of my neck. You can take it out of there. Star Wars curtains. Well, they were sheets. Yeah. And they've been made. Do you know I had these sheets? I had these sheets on my bed. Well, see, they would. you could, you know, get like $40 for them today. How amazing is that? I had those sheets. This is vintage soap just for you. Are you kidding me? No, you can have that. Thank you so much. You've just given me original... Ewok soap. That's right. George sent me this for my birthday. So I left George a message saying, you know, I know he owns my likeness, but did it go that far? <laughs> but the top is removable. Oh my goodness me. You can uh, pretty much take the whole thing off. Those actually look like her tits. Do they really? <laughs> they do not! Well, I'd like to be the judge of that. <laughs> It's been a magical start to my mission, and Leia is a yes for the reunion. But Skywalker and Solo are going to be much harder to win over. So in the meantime, I need an easier target. I'm going to get me a Wookiee. The Star Wars universe was populated with all kinds of incredible creatures we'd never seen the like of before. Where are you going? The mighty Wookiee Chewbacca was the most popular and most human of them all. Come here, you big coward. Chewie, come here. Lily-livered, bad-tempered, but a fiercely loyal friend to Han Solo. All right, pal. Next up, Peter Mayhew, a.k.a. Chewbacca the Wookiee. The man I modelled my entire appearance on. That's what I'm talking about. I'm hoping the man behind the furry mask can shed some light on the argy-bargy between some of the other actors in costume. We've heard Peter rarely grants an interview, but will always turn up for his fans, so I've come up with a plan. Have you ever taken part in a Wookiee circle jerk? It's where you all stand round... Yeah, that's it. Me and the team are searching for genuine Chewy fanatics. Even though they don't know it yet, they're going to help me get their hairy hero. No, that's good, you can come. No, not in that sense. You can be here. We've invented a fake documentary supposedly all about the Wookiee and his number one fans. The fans all think it's for real, and so does Peter, who's flying in all the way from Texas, especially to take part. Stop the car. The bait for Peter Mayhew are beginning to arrive from all over California to start filming the imaginary Superfans TV show. Oh, mm, viciousness. I've got just a few minutes to get myself ready. You need to wookie me. Wookie me, Annette. That's it, get it up. More of that, yeah, more of that. So why are you such a big Chewy fan? I look at him and I see nothing but good things, and when I act like 